Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. Customer states, loud bang at 90 miles an hour. The last time this customer came in, they declined repairs to get the vacuum lines for their four-wheel drive system repaired. Instead, the customer has been driving around for months with their front hubs locked and had this happen when they were driving on the highway. When the customer states that there's a little bit of rubbing on their drive shaft, whole picture frame stuck in there. Look at how happy she looks though. And this customer came in as they said they needed their rear subframe welded, as they welded it themselves a while back, but the welds broke. The customer's car had a huge list of other issues, and the shop declined working on it. Customer states they have a fuel leak. When the technician was inspecting this customer's truck, he noticed that the frame was rusted in multiple spots, and all six cab bolts were missing. He told the customer that their vehicle was not safe to drive, but the customer drove it away. and this customer brought in their car as they said they still have an exhaust leak after they tried fixing it themselves. Customer states washer fluid cap is hard to open. This customer brought in his car as he said his brakes are still noisy after he installed new brakes. The customer had installed a new brake caliper and brake pads, but they reused the old brake rotors that should have been replaced. And this customer brought in his Ford Ranger as he said he wants it returned to stock as the modifications he performed has caused some engine issues, and the dealership declined doing any warranty work on it. The technician said he's not quite sure what the customer was trying to do, but he had also removed only the passenger side CV axle. This trailing arm mount was found to be broken on a brand new Lincoln Navigator that came in for a pre-delivery inspection. Guest states it feels like their clutch is slipping. This customer's dirt bike was brought in as he said it won't start. The customer had put way too much pink chalk in the exhaust of his dirt bike and kept trying to start it. This 2022 RAV4 hybrid was towed in as it won't start. The technician was told by the customer that they had their vehicle splashed with water and ever since that happened, it won't start. The technician said it was obvious that the customer had drove through a large amount of water due to the water lines around the body of the vehicle and the air filter was soaking wet. Customer states fuel device they installed does not seem to work properly. When this vehicle was brought in for a state safety inspection, the technician noticed that there was a crab in this customer's vehicle. And this customer brought in their Chrysler 300 as they said they have a noise over bumps. The technician found the subframe to be very damaged in multiple spots and found the transmission cross member to be broken as well. This F-150 was towed in for a transmission concern, and the technician could not help but notice the custom spray-painted interior. And this technician was looking for an exhaust leak on a customer's vehicle, when a beam of light magically shows up to help him locate the exhaust leak. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please consider leaving a like or subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.